hey guys just uh coming in here real quick before the first episode uh for whatever reason just for this episode in particular my mic messed up weirdly about halfway through just kind of got this weird staticky effect it's not in the other episodes i recorded this session but unfortunately it is on the first episode so hopefully it doesn't happen again but i am sorry for how crackly and weird my mic sounds i tried to fix it as best as i could but it's not perfect. How's it going, everybody? I'm your host, G64, and we are here with the Outbound Ghosts. We are playing... Uh, we won't do anything. Oops. We are going to be playing this game uh, similar to Bug Fables and similar to... Outbound was always kind of a nice place to live. The folks there kept themselves to themselves. An argument here and there, sure. That was until they all started to get sick. That cursed swamp poisoned our water and Outbound was nearly wiped off the map because of it. Then there were only a handful left. Some who needed help crossing over. And somebody was going to do it for them. That'll be us. Let's get on into it. Blade of Dawn, level three. Press B to dash, A to inspect, okay. Little well we can enter. But yeah, this game is ins heavily inspired, as you can already tell here. Inspired by Paper Mario, Paper Mario series. Similarly to the Bug Fable series. We, as you, as many of you may know, I love love Paper Mario. One of my favorite series of all time. And so I am very excited to play it. I've loved the Paper Mario series for a very long time, even if all the games aren't that great. So, let's get into it. Bushes hide you from enemies. Okay, hold up. Let's turn on grass again, but this game is just fucking eating my fucking shit for some reason. Is it the grass that's fucking devouring everything? It seems like we're alright. Alright. Let's fight! Oh no, an apparition. Huh? You could see me? Well, finally, after all these years. Well, let me teach you how to deal with this meanie. Don't worry. You won't have to jump into the fray yourself. I'll handle everything with my breathtaking skill. Firstly, you'll have to learn how to tell me what to do. We can attack and make me pound that good for nothing. Perfect. Now select the pipsqueak. You're a natural kiddo. Now here comes the hard part. You've got to time the attack. I know, revolutionary. Trick is to press the button. The point is at the center of the bar. Got it? Alright, cool. Now give it a try. That was amazing! Now, the beat's gonna attack us. Fortunately, we can't do anything right now, so let's take the hit. Okay. Now, that hurt. Well, 
Do you either up? Either up, you take like half damage from all of hits. Stop that. You either get an AP, which stands for either point. You get one of these every turn by default, so you get an extra after this. What do AP do? Well, it allows to attack. For example, if you have two AP, two times in one turn. Let's try to use either up, take less damage, and store AP. It only half as much. Now we have two AP. Let's try to use one of our AP to attack the new one. Bonkets. Amazing. What a genius. You're very fast, so you know what's this button? Aberration not only does HP go down, their stun also increases. The stun is shown with the yellow bar under the AP bar and it replenishes every turn. If you manage to fill it up, though, the aberration will become stun and be able to move for two turns. Stop of that, the act deals double damage. The more damage dealing aberration, the more the stun gauge will increase, so let's use skill to sure we stun stun that's good. Okay. I, I, I don't need you to hold my hand that much. You fucked me up because you've been tutorial mode. Kill. Swift hit. Oh, that is really weird. Hold on, let me let me try one more time. Okay. Yeah, that's a weird one. We did level up though. Minor defense. Okay. 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 Do we heal in between fights? Does not look it. Okay, yeah. It is absolutely the grass that is killing the frame rate. Sorry, grass. You gotta go. This requires two lockpicks. I see. Well, we got a second lockpick. Let's keep on pushing. Rock bomb. Just gotta keep on dashing. Onwards and upwards. I'll never get used to it. Yep. Oh. Whoa, what's that? Hey. It looks like a freak of nature. Hey, Michael, don't be so mean. Just a passerby. That's me look scary, but you're one too now. This is different. We've never seen this one around before. This is extremely sketchy. Wait a second. That's it! That must be the killer. Michael. Don't Michael me. We've got to hatch up a plan. The killer's not going to catch itself. Let's go! Ah. Hey. I don't know who you are, but I'm so sorry. That was Michael. My brother. He. Let's just say he hasn't been handling the whole death thing too well. Been a session to find a serial killer, specifically it's the one who killed our whole village. As you can see, uh, yeah, he's still working on it. Hopefully, I'll soon be able to talk some sense into him. Anyways, nice meeting you. See ya. Surprise enemies to get advantage. Something up there. All right.
Got his ass. Bonkus. Thanks for the XP, bitch. Onwards and upwards. Oba! Ouch. 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 Let's go, Regret! Fucking carrying us. Good job, Regret. Really proud of you, buddy. Wow, what a woobity 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 woo. Hi there. Previous life is hustle and bustle. Dying with blessing in the skies I needed. Alright. not have killed if I had landed all of them perfectly, but it is good to know what that does. Bonk. Why even have us appear on the map, actually, during this? Doesn't really seem like a point. A bum. And an apple. Can't go up, so we go this way. Apple and four lockpicks. Goddamn. Yeah, the grass is what is absolutely just killing the frames. Fucking hell. What? What is the point of turning on... Yeah, look, second round of combat, everything's fine. What's the point of turning off the grass if you're just gonna have it on during combat? Whoa! There aren't usually new people around here, but you've arrived at the perfect time. See that campfire? I've been setting these up all over the place to help weary travelers, and they're quite the hate. You can use them to collect your thoughts. That's what you call it saving. You can save when you want. Oh, also. See this anvil? You can use it to make some pretty awesome stuff. I heard some travelers have forged multiple trinkets to keep them sane. 
It's not always easy to keep your head in the game, especially since now we're dead. Oh well. I guess now things are now, huh? Well, it was nice talking to you, but I gotta get to work. Before I go, let me give you this, though. The rest of this is an aspect you. We need this for basically anything. I'll also give you a recipe so you can always make yourself. Anyways, the camera sets itself up. She makes her use saving and forging. Great book that allows you to forge powerful aspects and graphics. Allows you to forge aspects that will affect the timing game. Any problem for all skills that progress to the timing, some timing on attack will do some little damage. I will miss. Uh now miss if they don't get perfect timing and timing gauge or power with percent I don't really want any of these, but I mean I guess if I had to pick one, I guess we'll go with that one. Man, that was so hard. It's gonna kill my internet. I'm I'm ready. Yep. Bro. The grass should not be fucking up the whole entire fucking thing this much. I can play Elden Ring without it lagging. But I can't play this because of the fucking grass. Also, what's the point of turning off the grass if... Oh, that aggravates me a lot. I, I want to enjoy this game. I like the premise of the game and the Paper Mario feel of it is really good. But if it's going to fucking just destroy my PC because of the grass, even though I turn the grass off, I just I have to avoid fights and that's not enjoyable. Yep, alright, here's... Time for lag. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that just is really sucky, because I have everything off except OBS in this game. And this game is just chugging my GPU for some reason. It's the killer! I have to capture them soon before they escape my grasp. Come on, Michael. Leave the poor ghost alone. Can't. It's my only way to ascend. 
When I catch the perk, I'll finally be able to eliminate my burden. I may be dead, but I can still prove that I'm worthy of being a detective. Best is not going to get in the way of that. And well, I have to ascend to the afterlife too. I'll prove myself and ascend. Hey, I'm sorry again. As you can see, Michael really wants to prove himself. He's been an inspiring detective since he's been young. But dead can't really become one for real. I guess all he can do is prove himself and eliminate his burden. And I'll be able to ascend, hope for reincarnation. I'm sorry, I rambled for longer than I intended. Maybe I'll check up on my goals. I mean, again, I hope you'll have a little soft up. But anyway, see ya! After feeling Mary's kindness, you unlock new figure of self camaraderie. Revenge from telling the other figure of self. Camaraderie. Alright. Uh. What was healing? Make sure we're going to equip three aspects. Check the figure and equip them. Campfire saved. Does Kamatari come with anything equipped? We get to get to like town so that way we're not lagging every time we do a fight. I don't know, I want to fight. But I know this area will lag just with how much grass there is, so I don't want to fight. So I'd rather just avoid the fights. There's a chance. Corey, go! Yep, yep. Yep, yep. We've got the killer cornered. I'll come down the long route. I don't want to get myself hurt. Now we've got you. Do you have any idea how much you've hurt me in my town? Because of you, everyone, it's dreams of a cross. Well, yeah, most of us will never see our loved ones either. Are you happy with yourself after knowing that? Yeah, of course you would deny your pride. Credle, I don't know what's going on. He's going to help with the court. Well, it's got you red-handed. you got nowhere to go. Now I'll... Wait, Michael. You don't even know if the killer for sure. We know everyone in this whole area. Nobody could have done something as horrible as what happened. It has to be an outsider. It just so happened that we found one. There wasn't even that many deaths after our deaths. Coincidence? I think not. Do we even know if this ghost has been to Outbound before? For all we know, this could be the first time wandering from another town. Oh yeah? Well, why don't you ask them? Have you ever been to Outbound? Wait. You say I really don't know what's going on. What do you mean? Got amnesia? Oh. That's just like... I mean, we can't trust a potential criminal's word. It all checks out, though. Nameless wandering, the lost look on their face, it all fits. I still don't buy it. We gotta buy Iron Fist a better safe than sorry. How about we at least get Adrian's opinion? He's got amnesia too, and he lives not too far from here. He's an outbounder, so his judgment can be trusted, right? Alright, let's do that. Perfect! Let's go to Adrian's house then. By the way, we know who we are, but what's your name? Uh. Oh, go. let's go. You know what? Actually, hold on. You can call me Grandpa. Grandpa, huh? It's a nice name. Anyway, we should go. We should follow the lanterns pass here and we'll get there in no time. Nice place for you and so you can't miss it. Ah, fuck. Alright, time to lag! Oh, actually, okay, we're not... Nope, I lied.
All right, well, that wasn't too bad of lag, actually. Okay. Away we go. Weird UI choice, by the way. To have them following me, but still appearing as people I can talk to on the UI. Surprise attack five times. Ouch. Ouch. Healing. Stinkus. <clears throat> Got a water dropper. Yeah, see, there's not any lag here, which is great. It is absolutely just the grass that was killing my shit. Unfortunate. Bonkus, Binkus. Your hand is the leaders. Fuck bomb. Check the status glossary and comment to learn more about status effects. Crimson text. Basic life steal. This is like a dungeon? Aspect gems and an apple. All right. Where the hell are we? Oh my god, you have 80 HP? Uh, you gotta go down first, probably. Yikes! Run. Pinkus. Pinkus. Pink and bonk. Knock you down, you silly little man. 
Almost level seven. Or almost level nine. God damn. Oh no, it's gonna kill my PC. Oh no, we're chilling. It's literally just the grass that does it. All right. Yeah, no, it's literally just the grass that kills it. Okay. Don't know what it is about those grass textures, but hey. Glad to have them gone, I guess. You can see me from all the way up there? Ah, damn, buddy. Okay. up regret. Wampus. Wimpus. Wawumpus. Bavinkus. Wampus. And we're here. This is Adrian's house. I had a drink somewhere, but I don't remember where I said it. Pretty picture, ain't it? Okay. I knew I had a drink. Uh, it's basically the best location in general outbound area. But anyways, I think Corey should stay out here. Maybe he's not too fond of dogs. Yeah, the last time we talked to him, it didn't go into all that. Yeah, it seems Adrian's amnesia has made him quite irritable. Let's not say anything... Gets him on his nerves. Anyways, let's go! It's okay, Cory. We'll be right back, buddy. Hey, Adrian. We're here with a visitor. Uh, Adrian? Everything okay? Hey, Adrian, we're talking to you. Ah! Why are you here? We had someone we wanted you to meet. You seem really startled, though. Is everything okay? I'm not startled! Oh, sorry for the temper. It's just my brain's a mess. My amnesia isn't getting any better. Forgot everything every couple of minutes. Tough to live with vague memories of only those from before death. It's actually exactly why we're here. We met someone else like you. What? Another amnesiac? Yes. Grandpa. We just met him. They're back there. Hey. <laughs> You're an amnesiac too. Whoa. When did you become a ghost? Oh, I see. You've gotten everything since? I have periodic memory wipes. You have the same? Oh, you don't? So that means you're not like me, then. Ark! How can I be so stupid? Okay. Ow. Adrian, are you alright? Looks like Grandpa's getting the same thing. What the hell? Oh, it's you. Glad to see you're awake. What happened? After you got that headache, you fainted. Adrian had the same thing. It's strange. Some of you two are linked somehow. And faints, and straight after that, you do too? Smells fishy. Maybe you need anything. We should definitely get you to talk to Adrian more. You two are the only ones with suspicion. It may not be exactly the same, but it's pretty darn close. Resolving your burden. Oh my gosh, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Wow, having an intimate talk in this crazy situation. Not that I'm talking anymore. Time. Basically, we're all ghosts, you're right, but we're still living on Earth. The one from before we died. You can still see a human if they were near you. Probably be really scared, though. And there aren't too many around here after the killings. 
Not all dead people become ghost types, only those who have a burden or the penny tricking. Some, maybe a result of trauma or unrealized ambitions. Not pretty. Basically, every ghost you meet in this story has issues. We put things in perspective, huh? I know, this is strange. Kind of nature, like eating or sleeping. After waking as a ghost, I knew there was something missing. Only through filling that hole, then we can extend to the afterlife. Or we never fill it, then I guess we're here forever. It would not be easy to use all Gordon's can't even remember it, but we'll help you as much as we can. Start by trying to retrieve your memories. And that is going after Adrian. He went through the cave that had branches blocking his entrance. Such hurry, he completely broke through it. Michael and Corey went chasing after him, and I stayed here. I wanted to make sure he didn't die again. In case you forgot where the cave was, it's over there. Yep, I remember where the cave was. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! You unlocked a new figment. Callousness. Having seen Adrian's cold demeanor, you unlocked a new figment of self, callousness. Using it to your advantage through protecting other figments with its thick skin. Interesting! Aspect gym. Two apples. Go back in Adrian's house since he's not here and, uh, yoink. Lifesteal vials. Huge, actually. Very huge. In the cave. Wapis! Wabavui! Skill. Magic strikes. Womp. 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 All right, we'll protect the healer. Healer again. Two life steals and a flower. All right. Yo. Magical strikes. Wampus. 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 Bonkus.
We need to get like attack up and defense up on these guys. Because they are struggling with damage. Okay, we got attacked during a cutscene. Okay, we've got to go first. I want to, like, take on the first quote-unquote boss before I end this episode. Because I was figuring it would be kind of like a prologue boss, almost. Kind of like how Paper Mario has them. But this game really doesn't have chapters so far from what I've seen. Now, we unlock something back here, though, from snuffing out all the torches. I think we'll see what... Staircase. Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's give it a shot. Boss fight? Okay. Level 12. Ouch. Heal. Ouches. Bonkus. For yourself, Kamadari. Minor wind cut, SP steel, and minor HP share. Cool! 
Cutting one of your deepest memories of your own volition, you've unshackled yourself from your past and can now use a new figment of self. Oh, you can just fight it again. Oh, okay, well. Ouch. Minor defense. Does basic area damage. I never play. Let's try it. Ooh, big miss. So these are like optional bosses. Interesting. Ouch. Alright, so skill. Let's try it again. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Glad to be learning it, though. Okay. A, a little concerning, I guess, that the first guy, the first optional guy we unlocked is Slave, and that's from in confronting one of our deepest memories. But, you do you, King, I guess? Absolutely, we'll take bigger trade. Can't access those yet. Alright, let's fight this guy. Oh no, the frames! It's nothing but grass! Get me out of here, please. Hey, uh, can I ask you something? I'm following you around, right? Michael and Corey were following you too when they were with us earlier. You don't say anything it's going to be weird, but uh why do you occasionally hide in bushes and woods? It's almost as if you're avoiding something. 
see ghost like things? No way, that's just like Adrian. Must be an amnesiac thing, I guess. Do we see them? No, not at all. Ghosts like to avoid something invisible. It's good to know that they're just aspirations. At least we're not a weirdo or something. Aspirations? Yeah, that's what Adrian calls them. He said he has to defeat them with his emotions. Whatever that means. You have those too? Same thing. Just all the more reason to talk to Adrian. We think that you two don't have the same position, but this new information is otherwise. Let's continue going forward. We're actually not too far away from the Southern Outbound Circuit. Where Michael Corey and I found you. Check that's where they're headed. If we don't find them along the way, we'll definitely find them there. Go! Interesting. So they don't see these guys. Hold on. That man is definitely guarding something. Ooh. Beach key. And a well, aha. Hello. Well, I have my parents never let me follow my dreams, but now them dead's all different. I can finally live as a mushroom. Okay. Good on you, buddy. Okay, but like, why though? Why Why do we gotta do it like that? Can we not just have it unlock itself? Oh, this is a destroyed pathway. Another vision of self. Ooh, we'll get a sneaky ghost. Callousness about to get replaced on my team, which is sad because I like how Callousness looks. But very clear, clearly, is not the one for this team. That or Slave. Slave might have to go as well.
No, yeah, it's just a really good thing they didn't copy Regret. I don't know, could have definitely been worse for us. For the time being, Regret cannot be off the team because Regret just does so much damage compared to literally everyone else. Callousness just doesn't have the correct moves, at least right now. Maybe it'll get stronger in the future. I hope to God they gain XP when they're not on the team. Level 13, major defense. Confronting one of your deepest memories out of your own volition, you unshackled yourself from your past, and now you see the figment of self. Septomania. Yep. Your debuffer. Let me just see here. If we do this. Yeah, man, you ain't getting anywhere close to his power. Yeah, regret is just kind of insane. Probably gotta take off callousness from the team then. Oh, God. In all honesty, it's probably regret that I should have put this on. I think that's the correct setup for this for now. Then let's keep going. New special aspect. Whip the aspect on one of your pigments on the pigments menu and will be able to use mimic pigments. Can you turn to the target and let them use all of their skills, even work on bosses and other pigments. Don't be afraid to experiment. The outbound ghost. Whatever works on regular aspiration always works on boss aspirations. Interesting. Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but that feels like a boss fight. Feel vile? Apple? Maybe not? There's an axe in the door. What is going on? Okay.
Take out the bats first. Basic damage to the target three times also deals to the layer target around it and revives allies on final hit. Jesus. the lowest on health. Well. Go slave. Optomania. Yikes. Gotta heal slave again. Or Optomania again. I hate that it lets you select dead enemies. That's... that's really dumb. If they're dead, why are you letting me pick them? This is Outbound Southern Outskirts, my home. Yep, my house is actually this one right here. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, we're getting to finding Michael and Aunt Adrian. I see Corey over there, but not the others. Oh, I know. Go see Frank. He knows everything that goes on around here. He normally hangs out around the community center over there. A building with the blue roof. Okay. Let's go! Open the door. Big fly house. Hi, hey, Cory! Hello there. We well, did, but imagine how much worse it could be. We could be dead without our beautiful outbound gardens. We're so lucky. Hill. I'm this very home. Have that pesky hood on? I don't know who they are, but no. I still thinking about it. That's why I wear this scarf. Okay. Change Grandpa's name? No, I'm good. Pink Jim. I do. Oh, damn. They were murdered, murdered in this house. Where are their bodies, actually? Is that a morbid question to ask? I don't feel like it is. So clumsy. 
It was her farm and I wouldn't take care of it, but she lost the key to the gate. Can't answer it, but either since she's not with us anymore. She didn't communicate to Ed's that but maybe she dropped it there? Okay, but like I unlocked the door already. What was the point? Like, why not make that a side mission? This, game, this game's weird. Why can I pick the gate, but not have it... Huh? That seems like a very easy side mission. I can't believe Biff had the audacity to pass it to the afterlife. No bullying anymore, at least, but... What a way to find out that he didn't have any baggage that gave him a reason. Hey, Grandpa, I don't think we should go in there. Vengeance, you're gonna explain later. Okay. Hello there. Dead or alive, nothing beats smithing. I mean, fair enough. Increase AP by 3, but reduce power, defense, and healing to zero. All buffs and debuffs applied will use or apply twice. Yes, yeah, we'll go with that one. I'll pay you a kill outside my house since you live in trash it. Now I get to chill out here instead of cleaning up like many others. Hey, it's my birthday too. Dad's treating me pretty well. Okay. Go in here. Nothing. All right. Well, that being said, I think that's where we're going to end the first episode of this. I've been your host, GSmith64, and if you want more Outbound Ghost, tell me in the comment section down below. This game's been fun. It is enjoyable so far. A couple questionable things out the gate, but other than that, I've been enjoying it. So I probably will record at least one more episode today, and we'll go from there. So until next time, folks, I'll see you around. Farewell.